Sorry, somebody's gonna be sitting there. Hey, hey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was worried. I thought maybe uh, you'd miss a train. No, I just had a lot of work to do today. So. Yeah. Whew, I almost didn't make it. You look, you look beautiful. Thanks. How are you? I'm, I'm good. good. Yeah. I'm excited about tonight. Should be fun. Yeah, me too. Me too. Well, you look insufferably pleased with yourself today. Probably has to do with uh, Mr. Bush and his PR push there. That was very sweet was of him. Was it? To oh. go for Thanksgiving and see all the boys, it see all the troops. It was so manipulative. It was so, and he, he, he snuck in under the cover of darkness. What do you want him to do? Fly in, the in, in the middle of the day with an American flag on the side Oh, no, he wouldn't do that. Why? Because he'd be in real danger then, well, wouldn't he? No one, no one wants to get killed, okay? He was very smart, and he was very courageous very, to go very there and smart. do that. My election right? year is coming up. We've got Thanksgiving you know, on the way. You're Good typical Canadian, man. You are so, just such a cynic about America. It makes yeah. me sick. Yeah. Why aren't you uh, snuggling up with your girl there? What's going on? Well, I don't believe that's any of your business now, is it? Oh, oh. Take us passes, please. Well, Tickets well, well. Hello, sir. How are you, sir? I'm fine, Mr. Walken. Oh, <laughs> I remember. Thank you, sir. Hope my tax dollars went to good use, you know, like uh, get us some new seats on this piece of junk. Have a nice day. Oh, oh my God. Oh, wow. Is this the week that will never end? Oh, apparently. Yeah. Holy smoke. TGIF, huh? Yeah. Thank God it's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Yeah. Thank goodness. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. What a day. I should never go out and play on a school night, huh? Oh, you went out last night? Yeah. Oh. Cheryl and I went to the steam whistle. Oh, my gosh. I, I, they don't even have mulled wine anymore. <laughs> I'd have cranberry coolers. Ooh. Isn't that a bit of a pickup joint? Well, look, I don't know if it's me or the world has changed, but it seemed like there was way more men than there used to be, and they were just oogling all the gals, you know? Mm -hmm. I know. I felt like a, I felt like an alien. Yeah, well, they'll do that to me. Feel like a bit of an alien. No kidding. And, and not one from their planet, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. You know what I mean? Huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I am feeling lucky today. Oh, yeah, you yeah, sure are. <laughs> oh, holy smokes, eh? Yeah, I saw it uh, hanging up in the library. I thought you'd enjoy it. It's uh, particularly freaky. I mean, these conspiracy theories. That's like, really funny. The flowing of blood, the flowering of water. We're all terms of men's reality. <laughs> you know, it's like the Realian, Red, Realian people. Oh, <laughs> you remember the guys that called the baby? Yeah, they were <laughs> freaky. Baby, baby eagle. Did you, uh, did you get your hair cut? It looks good. I can see your eyes a little No, over. but, um, look at, but I got your mom. Oh! With the gardening tools. Yeah, she goes on, she's still going on and on about yeah. that day that you guys spent in the garden together. She says you're a, a wonder with tulips and that she wants your design ideas mm, for the I garden for next know. summer. I think she'll like these though. These are these extendable ones so she can sit and garden. Yeah. I think she'll like it. That's awesome. Yeah. 
Anyway, I, uh, I can't stay tonight, so I hope that your mom's not gonna be upset. I, I have to come back to Toronto. Oh, uh, well, how, how come? <laughs> I have this huge board meeting in the morning and I have a lot of notes because I'm on the agenda and I'm trying to get extra staff hired for the overnight at the group home, so. Well, you know what though? I, hey, you can go downstairs to my room and I'll, you know, make sure that my parents will uh, come in. Tickets and, and passes, um, please, ladies. Sure. Yeah. And I'll turn the phone off if, if you want. It's quiet. See, it's, it's classic. It's a classic syndrome you've got here, buddy. It's, it's as usual. You're not being assertive enough, right? That's why this isn't working out. You're probably sitting on the fence. When what you need to do is just really make a strong move and get in her pants. Oh, That's what has please. to happen. Will you give me a break? What? I mean, what? what why do you make that assumption? Just because I'm a geek, you think I can't get laid? Yes. Because I'm a geek, that's what it yes. is? Okay, yes, you know what? that's why. Sex is not a problem, okay? I don't need to go to Liz to have sex either. In fact, there's another woman in the picture who might, you know, who's more than what? willing to fill in in that capacity, all right? Okay, <laughs> okay. Who is this other woman well, that you're speaking of? She's, she's somebody that, uh, you know, I sort of work with for the Star Trek play, if you really gotta know. <laughs> yeah. Now, okay, does Liz know about her? No. Does the Star Trek woman know about Liz? Yeah. Oh, you dog, you dog! Yes, that's exactly how you gotta do it, okay? For example, Sunday, I'm at the Raptors game with Ritu, okay? Yeah. Look, I'm, I'm really not that interested in her, okay? I, I, I want her to leave me alone. Yeah. This is known. However, she goes crazy up the wall mad when she sees this girl I'm banging right now, Penny, okay? Penny. Who works for the Raptors. She's a total sweetheart, very sweet. You know, it's a real mutual thing. She comes up, she hugs, kisses, you know, mm -hmm. let's go out tonight, remember, blah, blah, blah. This is, Rachel's going up the wall, you know, she can't take it. Yeah. It's perfect. Wow. Drives them both wild, gets them both hungry for action, you know what I mean? Na, 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 Sailboat? Huh? <laughs> Sailboat? <laughs> uh, Pickle. Um. What is it? Oh. Brenda. Brenda, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Rudy, remember three months I helped you with the urn oh. three months ago? Oh, yeah, of course I do. Whatever yeah. happened to that urn? Oh, my gosh. You didn't hear? No. It was all through the train, oh, really? eh? No, 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 no. I, oh, I'm oh, sorry. Oh, that's okay. Oh, you wouldn't believe it. Well, I, I got contacted by this fella, uh -huh. and he wanted $1,000. $1,000? $1,000 for it. Well, it's your husband, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, but still, that's uh, that's illegal, right? I mean, so uh, I set up a sting operation, eh? Well, so I mean, I I, I didn't. I, I should have called. I'm sorry. I should have called you. Well, it's okay. I'm, I'm not really a you know police officer in that sense. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. You don't pack yeah. heat? Again, not in that sense. Oh. But yeah. <laughs> right. And go, yeah. Anyway, so I mean, I thought maybe the best way is just to deal with this thing head on, you know. And well, anyways, there was a few friends on the train who helped out. It's but because it, you don't want to do it alone, you, you know. You got you got a pretty woman, and you know you don't. Oh. You never know what these guys what? are. You could have had a knife, eh? Could have. You know, and nowadays, yeah. I don't know. They, you know, people they've got a lot of other weapons they're carrying these days, eh? Because uh, Mala called today, and she's invited us to go down to the Rex tomorrow. There's a, a band playing. It's a Wicked Blues band at 3:30, right? And Eileen and Laura, they're all going to be there. So I thought it'd be really fun. Because I, I can, I can meet you. I can meet you after your meeting. We can maybe have some lunch. Well, I, I'm not sure though, because we may have a luncheon after the meeting, and I don't want to just split on the board. And I'm trying to stay in their good books about the staffing issue. So if I can, I'll, I'll try. I'll, I'll come to the Rex, but I can't. I can't commit. I, uh, I feel, feel really far away from you right now. I know that we have a lot of stuff to talk about, all right? I know, I know we do, but I, if you could just tell me, just simply, you know, kind of where, where we're at as a couple. I, you know, I can't, I can't talk about this right We don't now, have to get okay, it into Anna, it deeply. I, I just I, I just can't, I can't do it. I, I want your mom to have a good time. I just don't want to think about it right now. And I, I just want her to have fun. And I don't want to muddy it with tension or drama or anything. Let's just, just, let's not start a conversation we can't finish. I don't do any of that stuff. So you just left her hanging like that? Yeah. So no more R2-R2. Ah, no, man, forget it. I'm done with her. She was bugging me, you yeah. know? She's pressuring me. Yeah. I got nothing to do with her anymore. Oh, hey, uh, 
Hey, buddy, you left your, your package. Sir. Should I go get him or what? Uh, I don't know. He might be back. Maybe it's not his. Yeah, maybe not. It's not yours, obviously. No. It's not mine, so I'll just leave it. Let Trent yeah, let's, we'll leave let it. him pick it up and go to Lost and Found with it. <sighs> Here, pass it over. Why? Oh, I want to have a look. What, you think there's another sandwich in there or something? No, no, come on. I just, you know, why not? I mean, he's not coming back anytime soon. Let's see Let's see what he's got. <laughs> Looks like a TV set or something. <laughs> you ever hear the phrase, curiosity killed the cat? Come so on, just give it to me. Fine. You want? Oh! Oh, it's heavy. That's too. heavy. Yeah, you want it, you got it. Can't believe you're opening. The sandwich taught you nothing, did it? <laughs> oh God. Yep. <laughs> Pete. What? It's got your name and address on it. What? I mean, he, I guess this guy was pushed to the edge and yeah. uh, felt that he had to do this. His girlfriend was pregnant, et cetera, et cetera. He had no gotcha. job. But, it, I mean, he was driven to being a, he was like a weirdo. There's a lot of sick people out there. There are. There's a lot of sick people. You look at, uh, you look at, so uh, true. Michael Jackson again. Oh, again. gosh. I, I mean. He, I know. And, and it just, it just, it's in the news every day. I mean. He better shape up or ship out, you know what I mean? Well, now the woman's kind of changing her mind a little bit again. I don't know what's happening there. But, I, I like, I like things were so oh. much different when, like, when, when when my niece went away to university uh -huh. last year, we were so scared for her safety. Like, if she's walking, don't walk alone across the across the campus. No, you, know, you night, can't you know. take chances. I had to give her lessons on self-defense. Uh, you know, of course, I taught her how to use, uh, you know, pepper spray and things like that. Oh, really? Yeah, but, you know, when, when my sisters went to university, yeah. you didn't have to worry about them at no, all. No, I know. It's a completely different thing now, sure isn't is. it? Yes! Oh, oh my $100! $100! <laughs> Anyway, so, so Judy quit smoking like nine days ago, so she calls me really late last night because her cat's gone senile and she screams in the middle of the night. And then the chihuahua <laughs> starts barking, so the cat's screaming, the chihuahua's barking, and she's chewing on these sunflower seeds and spitting them everywhere, and they're all in the bed, and Sam's like sleeping on the seeds and she wakes up. So okay, look, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I can't, I can't do this, okay? I can't pretend that everything is okay. I, there's no way I'm going to be able to get through a night with my parents. Pretending that, oh, yeah, yeah, things are great with Sue and I, when I don't even know. I don't know yeah. where we're at, okay? I am so sorry for what I did, all right? I, I feel about. terrible about what, it's the biggest mistake that I've ever made yeah. in my I life. I want to talk about it, okay? And the three months that I've had to hold this secret in, I, things have been a mess, you know? I've been so depressed and down, I have no appetite, I can't write music anymore. It's not like, I know, I know, I know what I did was wrong, okay? And I, if I could take it back, I would, oh. all right? It was... Poor you, Dana. Poor you, Dana. You can't write music. You can't sleep. Poor you. No, no, no. That's not what I... That's not what I mean. I'm just saying that it's... It, I feel terrible about it, okay? And that I know what I've done is I wrong. Heard, I, I heard, just... I heard, I heard. Okay. All I need to know from you is I just need to know if you still want to be with me, okay? Just yes or no. I told you I don't want to talk about it. Okay, so you, you didn't know the guy at all? No, you didn't no, speak I've never to seen him. him before. No, he just sat down there and I don't know, then okay. this box appeared. And there's no post postage markings on it at all? No, uh, well, there's my address, but no postal code, there's no stamp, Why does that no sound nothing. familiar? You know, you know what? Pete, 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 stop. What? Why don't we just put the package down and let the transit cop deal with it? No, okay. no, no, I don't want to get that jerk over uh, here. No, no, I, I, this is, this is, we had some training on this at work. Uh, you know, a couple of months ago, we had like a, a suspicious package show up, and this sounds really this familiar. Isn't like a it's a suspicious package. It's well, addressed to me. Big it's addressed deal. to you. There's no postage mark. The guy, did you? Is somebody mad at you? Do you have any reason to believe somebody? Well, there's this guy. Hide? Okay, there's this guy Ham, an investor I dealt with. Things kind of went a bit sour, and uh, you know, so well, maybe he's got a problem. But I mean, well, come then, on, he wouldn't, he's not gonna, he's not gonna like give me a suspicious package. You don't, but it. you don't know. I mean, look, just let's play it safe. Let's play calm. Just put it down and let them do. Don't, don't. What? what should, don't, don't worry, don't. There's something heavy in it. Some 
rolling a little bit. Okay, no, you stop. Just stop. Okay. It's cold. Put your hand here. Here, it's cold. Okay. Boom! <laughs> How's no, everything going? Who, who, who can imagine? But how's everything going? Well, it's look. I'm not going to lie. It's been it's been a it's been a tough go, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, I mean, the kids. It's difficult because, of course, they're up in arms about it. But at the same time, Daniel and Luke, they don't want to be near their mom. You know, they mm -hmm. want to go out and do their own stuff. And sure. Caitlin, she's young, right? right? She's only eight, but she. Oh. Uh, she has a busier social schedule than I do, I'll tell you that. She's like go, staying over at her friends and then has a birthday party tomorrow night. And oh. So, you know, you make do. Yeah. What can, that's what no. the cards have been dealt. Um, speaking of, like, you know, tomorrow night, uh, if you're not doing anything, I'm not uh, going out or anything. And I do not know if I don't have any plans. Would you like to go for, you know, coffee or... Uh, oh, uh, I, uh, I'm... One of those. Um, I I I I'm pretty busy. I uh, thank you. That's oh. uh, that's very. No, I've just no, got a okay. lot of. It's okay. I, I've got to yeah. organize the closet. Yeah, I have to uh, and, you get know, the I, rest of the get the rest Christmas. of the. Uh, oh, there you go. Is, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Coming. Congratulations thank you. on. Oh, thank yeah, you. Brenda, no problem. Keep uh, up the good work. Thanks, Rudy. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Thank you. Merry Christmas, my card, buddy. Instead of treating this like a singles bar. It's working. Oh, he, he was working. Did that bother you? What? Work, he was working he, it. He was hitting on you. He was asking you out. No, he was just being friendly. Okay, look, I, I respect the fact that you don't want to talk about it. You but don't I respect just... me, you don't respect me, Dana. If you respected me, you wouldn't have slept with her in the first place, okay? You wouldn't have cheated on me. Okay, I know it was the biggest mistake of my life. Okay, I know that. Mistake. All right, I was drunk well, at the time, too. A mistake, a mistake I... is just like choosing the wrong article of clothing or something, but but not planning to have an affair with somebody, Dana. That's not a mistake, okay? That's not a clearly... planned action, all right? I wasn't thinking clearly. All I know, okay, is that it's never going to happen, okay? It's well, never going to happen again. How am I supposed to trust that, Dana? How am I supposed to trust you? You know, I told you the one thing I asked you never to do to me. I told you the one thing that would really upset me, and you did it. So you tell me, how am I supposed to trust you? Because just, just, just give me another chance, okay? Trust me, because I've learned, okay? I feel terrible for what I've done. But what I know, what the good thing that's come out of this is the but fact that expense, I, I know Dana? that, I know that you're my huh? soulmate, Sue. Okay? I don't believe it. I don't believe you. What do you want? What do you want? I just want to know what that means. What does that mean? I think we should break up. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, man. There's something in Okay, you quit screwing around. Do something you, in here. Do you, don't, do you see any wires? No, I don't see any wires. There's no... Oh man, well, there's some there's some kind of smell in here. Okay, okay, it could be thing. chemicals, it could be poison, it could be anything. It just don't come don't, on. don't 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 come on, just here. relax. Don't look, worry, look. I will take full responsibility. There are other this. people on this train too. Look, at least try to don't, you got a don't knife just for anything? It yes, but I'm not giving it to you to okay. All right, look, oh, Randy, take it easy. Just, just take a deep breath, okay? says your dead meat. What did you do? Last night at the bar with Cheryl? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, she zeroed in on her target, uh, Deke the trucker. Oh. And then, oh, you know, like that wasn't enough, eh? I, I, I mean, she had to introduce me to his friend Dudley. 
Dudley oh my and Dudley. God. Yeah, I'm not sure what <laughs> Dudley did, but he had the filthiest nails in the oh, world. No. And he, he's, he's like gawking at the young barmaid the whole time, but decides that he should give me a squeeze. He starts fondling my knee like it's a melon, oh, honestly. Oh, and then oh. he then then he starts whispering filthy things in my like ear. What? Like what? Like what? Well, I wouldn't repeat it. I'm a lady. I'll okay, tell you. Okay. Anyway, like, like no, you needed like, this guy today too, sitting down and asking okay. you out on a date. That's just what you needed. You can't even compare the two. That was a nice guy. I thought no, he was sweet. No, yeah, no, he was very harmless. Give me a break. Nice Picking up on the job, and he didn't even check my pass. Yo, well, <laughs> thank God, I didn't even have my pass with me. <gasps> You did? Really? I forgot That's it today. That's illegal, mister. I have had the luckiest day today. Wow, well, good. Really? Yeah. What do you mean? What I else? I sold three cars on the lot. The third car, not only did they buy the car, they asked me out. This this beautiful woman named Juana. Juana? <laughs> what, what Where this? the heck is that from? Oh, she's Cuban. Ooh la la. And on top of that, I win 100 bucks, huh? That's going to pay for a pretty nice date. Oh, yes. <laughs> wow, all this what? working and dating. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You know, the funny thing about luck, eh? you never know till after it happens, right? Like, I think it's lucky if I don't gain five pounds after eating a box of chocolates. But, you know, luck is luck, right? Yeah. However luck. you see it, small or big. Luck is luck. <laughs> it's true. Hands on the day. Remember you were you were looking for a necklace for, Nala, for uh, Mala's birthday, remember? I ended up selling you that, the green shiny one. And I gave you the wrong change because because I was so nervous. And I knew it then, Sue, like I know it now, that when I am with you, it's like, it's like I've come home. I know that we can start again, okay? Because we're meant to be together, all right? We'll just, it'll be a clean slate, okay? Is that what you said to Michelle? What? Is that what you said to Michelle? Look, you know what? I, I think you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna call my mom and uh, and let her know that we're not gonna be there. And I think no, if we no, go back no, to we're Toronto, going. we have we can, to we go. Can take we, the I time promised to... your mother that I would go to the house and we would celebrate her birthday, and that's what I'm gonna do. Okay? No, I can't. Okay, I can't be at my parents' house. I can't yes, pretend in yes, front of them you when All you right, don't want to be with me. Just for once, why don't you think of somebody else? Okay? Stop thinking of yourself. Class.